Welcome back to another Vlogmas video where today we're talking the deets of what I put in my three kids stockings. What is up you guys? My name is Kira. If you are new, welcome back to another Vlogmas video where today we're talking stockings. So I did mention to you guys that I would put together a stocking video, like what I got my kids for their stockings. I figured I would put it out nice and early since I am completely done with everything. I feel like maybe Mason needs like a bag of chips or something since the other two kids have them. But besides that, like which is something simple I can pick up at the the grocery store everybody is done and I figured I might as well just sit down and share it with you guys now I'm not doing like a what I got my kids for Christmas this year I just feel like my kids are too old like if they see some snacks or little things that they're going in their stocking it wouldn't be the end of the world but I don't want them to see what is going underneath the Christmas tree I did, however, do a wrap and chat video where I was just wrapping presents and chatting and sharing some Christmas ideas. So if you guys want to go ahead and check those out, I can link them this way. Maybe you can get some ideas for your kids from there. But other than that, you guys, I have everything to share with you for my three kids. I have Amaya, who is five, Mason, who is going to be eight next week, and then Jacob, who is 17. So I have all of that to share share with you. I was going to share with you what I put in my husband's stocking and what I have for Paul, but while I was just going through everything, I didn't realize how minimal I had for them. I, they're adults, so I've just been focusing on my little kids. So when I kind of pulled everything out, I realized they're a little weak there as well, but I'm still going to Trader Joe's and Walmart one more time before Christmas, and so I always can just grab like just it's more or less like I said just candy and things like that for them for the adults I usually will go and get scratch offs I didn't get the adults any gift cards the kids have their gift cards already and they're here for this video to share with you you know which gift card I got for their stocking but otherwise um, I didn't get anything for the big guys now I know a bunch of you are new so you've been asking recently in the comments and I have been really really bad at being able to get back to comments you guys I apologize it's hard for me as it is but with a vlogmas and just trying to get like my house decorated and put back in order and sick kids and other things going on my foot is still just like my foot set me back that's been like the biggest thing I don't want to harp on that but me you know fracturing my foot just kind of really set me back for where I expected to be but I have not let it hinder me. I'm actually feeling a ton better with my foot. Some days when I'm home, I'm not even wearing my boot, which I know I'll get in trouble for. But as long as it's wrapped, it's good and tight, I feel a lot better. So I definitely are, are on the mend with that. But like I said, um, I'm just really bad right now at being able to get back to the comments. And so many of you were asking who Paul is. And I know it's really hard because I'm talking about two grown adult men and some people get confused on who my husband is. So I completely understand. So Daryl is my husband. We are married almost nine years together over 17 years. Um, but Paul is a family member that lives with us. And honestly, our house really wouldn't function without him. He is a very big help to us. He, you know, when he is not working he's you know downstairs being active and helping with things around the house and he's always building something and fixing something and taking care of the kids when my husband and I went to Madison's wedding it was Paul who stayed here and stayed with the kids and so he is a huge help but he's a you know a family member that lives with us I know it kind of gets confusing but 
he is a member of the family nonetheless so he gets a stocking and presents under the tree just like everybody else but i'm gonna start with maya i have everything separated like in a bag right here you guys it is ginormous of what i have so i'm gonna pull everything out of the bags i'm just gonna show you and then i'll lay it all out and i'll do like a passover of the camera before i share with you the next one most of this stuff is you know dollar tree or snacks very small minimal things if you guys have seen my hauls and you've probably seen a majority of the things that are in here but if you are new then this is all new to you so uh, i will share with you this at first because it's one of my favorite things it's like a little mini caboodle and i found it at the dollar tree but maya's really getting into makeup and lip glosses like we just did her makeup and everything for her dress rehearsal for her recital and maya just couldn't stop looking at herself with the makeup on like she just loves it so i thought this little caboodle especially from the dollar tree would be super cute for her I found this little cool gear. It says chug me with a carry loop handle. It's just a little like water bottle. It was 98 cents at the dollar uh, at Walmart rather. But I thought this would be good because the kids have like really good water bottles that I let them just bring water to school in. But if I ever want to send them with like juice or something that we have a jug of, I didn't have anything like this. So I'm going to test it out if it works good. Like it just has that. It's just like a pore spout. So if it works good and it doesn't spill on my kiddos, then I know I can send them with this to just pack some, you know, other flavored drinks with. So I got that. Hopefully that'll work out. I got the Snack Factory Everything Pretzel Crisps for Maya. Again, the Dollar Tree. She loves that from the DT also. I saw this little LOL Christmas ball. I didn't get either one of the boys an ornament, but I didn't like see anything at the DT, but I thought the little LOL one for a dollar was super cute. Uh, again, sticking with the Dollar Tree, I got Maya the little Frosty the Snowman gummies. And then I also got her a loofah because she just pours through my bath soap. And so with a loofah, I thought that that would help. I picked this up from Sprouts. I even made a joke that I spent so much money in Sprouts that day and I didn't expect to. And I got so many good snacks that I was purposely going to put them away as long as they didn't expire. Yeah, just double checking. Not until April. So I knew I could save them for stockings. And this is the Annie's Organic Bunny Grams in the Neapolitan. So it's like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ones. So I think she's going to like that. And it's a pretty pink box. So I picked this up for Maya from Grove. This is the Hello Toothpaste, but it's in the Unicorn Sparkle. Well, that's what it's called. And it's the bubblegum flavor. Absolutely love Grove. I talk about them all of the time. My link is in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. They're running their sale as they always do where if you try out Grove, you get a free Mrs. Meyers gift set. That's five pieces with a whole bunch of free holiday items. And right now for me, it's gift giving season. So even if I wasn't going to take it for myself, anything for free that I can use to gift out, I'm all about. So I would go ahead and check that out. But I placed an order and I put this Hello toothpaste in there for her uh, I also from Grove this is their brand Grove Collaborative has their own brand within their website and this is their sanitizer in the wacky watermelon this stuff smells incredible um, I even put one aside for Madison and I forgot to give it to her but because she loves everything watermelon but this is perfect for the kids backpack so I got them that um, and then each one of the kids or the younger kids got one of these Disney lip glosses or chapsticks rather um, candy cane swirl flavored lip balm and it looks like Mickey Mouse with and it looks like a sweater do you see the top how it's like sweater I thought that was so cute so um, they got that from the Dollar Tree, two of these little Play-Doh things. I'm usually so anti-Play-Doh, but these were so cute. So they're Play-Doh brand. And then this comes with a cupcake liner and this comes with something that holds french fries. And then inside of here, the cap is like, you know, you push it through the cap and it makes those things for her to fill the top. So I just thought that was something super cute. Uh, I got her this Rico's Air Popped Stadium Pickle Popcorn 
from H-E-B. Like I said, all the kids, well, M Maya and Jacob have like a bag of chips. Mason doesn't have one like this. I don't think this is even gonna fit in their stocking. It's gonna have to go on the floor outside, which I always have that. I always have like these things that don't fit in there. Like, I don't think this is gonna fit in there either. Like these things are probably gonna have to sit like, you know, propped up outside the stocking. My mom used to do that too, but we love the Rico's brand, especially for their cheddar cheese. And Maya loves anything pickle. And we've had that pickle popcorn before and she really likes it so got that for her uh, i ordered a bunch of like different pop it kits from amazon i'll link them down below in my amazon store but there was like a three pack of these xbox controllers and all the kids love xbox ones so uh maya got the pink one and then this one was super rainbow ish and it's a strawberry so she got that one. My kids are obsessed with poppets. Uh, and then a few more just things from the DT. So a couple of these little like wacky packs. I love the play packs for when we go on the go because it's stickers and some crayons and then like a play pad and it's the emoji movie which the kids have been watching a lot in my car. So I got each one of the kids that and then I got each one of the kids like a craft for us to do like that week after Christmas when we're off. It's a wooden wind chime and this one just looks like a unicorn so I thought Maya would like that. And then lastly, I have, uh, well, it's not lastly, but I have a ton of sand in here. Uh, I got all of it for Maya, and then I kind of felt bad when I was separating things because Maya had a lot of these little things and Mason didn't so I separated the sand and gave her half and him half but these are by Crayola and they're all silly scented so this one smells like grape the purple one and then the red one smells like strawberry and then the yellow one smells like banana and she loves all kinds of sand so I thought she would like that and then um we got those little wacky packs my husband was with me in the dollar tree and he wanted to get these little wacky packs if you like stomp on it then it grows to this big balloon and then it pops and there's a little prize inside so there was four of them in there each one of the kids got one so she got the one with the little snowman on there and then she picked this out once at the dollar tree with me and i told her she couldn't get it and then i slipped it in the cart so it's a bubblegum flavored moody changing lip balm so you put it on and then the color changes from, uh, you, it goes on purple and shows you up top that it goes on this color and then it changes to that. So I thought she would like that. And then she has a bath bomb. I think Vanessa gave this to me and said she didn't need it anymore i don't know how i ended up with just one but she got it uh our elf just brought a ton of bath bombs so it's fine that only maya's getting it but it has santa's little head on it and it's red and white so i thought she would like that for like i don't know her first bath after christmas or something and then she just got a 15 dollar xbox gift card the kids play xbox on occasion and they want to be able to buy like some expansion packs for minecraft or something i don't know her and mason have been asking like could they put my credit card in and i was like uh no so <clears throat> they're not putting my their credit card in my credit card in the thing so i just got them gift cards so that they can you know put that in and use it for that but that's it for maya i'm gonna lay it all out i'll do a little overview picture and then i'll get everything for mason all right, so we are back to share what I got Mason. And like I said, I think if I just get a bag of chips, he'll be pretty much even with everybody else. So I did get him a thing of these Annie's as well, but he got the pizza cheddar bunnies. He likes anything like that. So I think he's really going to enjoy that. I was going to wrap this, but since he was a little light in his stocking, I think I'm going to shove it in there because I still think he's going to really enjoy it. If I put everything out, I've been wrapping like periodically and then shoving stuff up in the attic so the kids can't find it. So once I pull everything down and kind of lay it out, if I feel like it looks uneven, I'll, you know, pull this out or something and wrap it. But I think... I think we'll be fine but i saw this little pop it game okay i thought this is so cool so each of you and your opponent are on either side and you roll the dice and then you have to pop as many poppets 
as your dice allows and you have to roll the exact amount to finish them and then if you win then you pop your side and then the best two out of three of your you and your opponent wins and why i like this is i feel like this is such a simple game for him and maya they don't need an adult to mediate they don't need anybody to help give them instructions they know how to roll the dice and they know how to count and so this is going to be you know all that they need and it's actually going to be good adding skills for them to add the two dice together mason's a math genius so i mean this is nothing on him but it'll really be helpful for maya and they love pop it so i feel like it's just going to be satisfying for them in general plus they'll be able to play so i'm excited i think the kids are really going to like that i found this again right on amazon so i'll link them and then like i said this came with a xbox like a you know it was like a kit and it was blue green and pink so i got the pink mason got the green and then i gave jake the blue and then this also came um like in a set maya got the strawberry and then um mason got the ice cream but they just love it and it actually has the alphabet on it i don't know if you guys can see or if it gets close enough to like focus let me see i don't know if it will oh it's on manual focus right now no we want auto focus there you go so it should be able to yeah you can see that there's numbers and letters on there but my kids just love poppets Here's his a $15 gift card to Xbox. His movie theater candy is the Frosty Nerds. He says he absolutely loves nerds, so I got him that. Here's his little wacky pack, and he has the gnomes. I got two of these little, like, science kits for him. This one is Moon Sand, and this one is making Planet Bouncy Balls. But both of these little kits were from the Dollar Tree. But I think he will truly enjoy those. Uh, again, from the Dollar Tree, he has a little wood shop thing. But he his wind chime is a rocket ship. So I thought that kind of went cool with those, like, lunar sand things. And then he also has one of those play packs of the uh, Emoji Movie. And then here is his sand. Like I said, I gave him three of the colors. So he has the blue blueberry. He had to have the green apple one and then orange is a for orange scented so i know he's going to like that he has his flavored a lip gloss and there is his like, little sweater and his is mint hot chocolate so he loves minty stuff where maya doesn't so it worked out perfect here is his little water bottle but his is green because that's his favorite color and it has dinosaurs on it so like i said hopefully that works out also from Grove, from the Hello brand, I got the Kids Fluoride Rinse, like a mouthwash, and the Wild Strawberry. He has his sanitizer, because each one of the kids got one of these watermelon ones. I got Mason two Thomas the Tank Engine movies, one I wrapped for Under the Tree, and then one's going to go in his stocking. And this is Thomas and Friends, The Le Legend of the Lost Treasure because he loves trains and then lastly I got him this book from the Dollar Tree and it just talks about bullying and I'm always like obsessed with making sure that my kids are not bullied and that they're not bullying there's too many bullies in this world I deal with them on a daily and so I am need to steer my kids away from that kind of toxic life that those people choose to live and so I got him this bullying book but all right that was it for Mason I'll do a little Passover to share with you a big overview like I said he's missing chips but otherwise that's what I got for my eight-year-old's stocking all right you guys so let's talk my 17 year old which he was really hard normally I would do like deodorant and body sprays and toothbrushes and stuff like that I mean you saw the kids got mouthwash and toothpaste but just because those were more novelty things like we're out of mouthwash anyways or they will be by Christmas so that was easy and then the unicorn sparkle toothpaste was just like when I saw it on Grove I was like oh that's cute that'll be cute in the stocking but 
I couponed for so long and between that and Grove and then I picked up like a big pack of toothbrushes from Sam's like we just have a lot of the things I would normally throw in there so this was more just like a few fun little things and snacky stuff um so again something else from Sprouts this is the organic bunny grams but that's in the s'mores flavor Jake loves anything s'more, so I think he'll like that. And then, okay, this was on that face, Amazon Facebook group or whatever. I've talked about that a bunch of times, but it was like, make your own, make anything into a pillow kind of thing. And it was normally 20 bucks, but then with the discounts and all that, it came to $7. And you could, it was small. I mean, you could see it's small, but our dog Dorothy passed away in June. And so I took a picture of Dorothy and it's kind of weird how they did it because it was a square photo of her but they like cut out her image so like you can see this this is her back leg because she's lying down so they literally just like cut her out so it's kind of weird but and her face is so dark it's so hard to see her eye right there i mean it almost looks like she has only one eye but i don't really think jake is going to care i just think he's going to think it's the cutest stinking thing because I mean, just by looking at it, you can tell that it's Dorothy. And for $7, I just figured, you know, we didn't pay a ton of money for it. But, and if he likes it, I always can get, you know, a, one larger, nicer made or whatever. But for just a quick little Amazon, like little group thing, I just think he's going to love it. He's going to sleep with it like a stuffy. I can guarantee that. So I know he's going to love that. I've never seen this flavor of late July chips and we're a huge lover of the late July but this is ranch so it's almost like cool ranch Doritos like I think he's really going to love these and I found them in a gas station in the airport in Austin so it's not like it's something I could get all the time so I just grabbed that for him as like a random thing but it's I think he's gonna like it uh also when I was in Sprouts I saw these Annie's gummies which he asks them all the time but these are sour ones I don't know if he's ever had sour bunnies before but he's going to now I mean there's only five pouches in here these boxes aren't very big um that's why I saved them for stocking but um jake has been very much into art and so i just picked him up some extra colored pencils to use i picked up two of each of these some i gave him already right now because you know christmas is still like three weeks away and i gave it to him a week ago like there are projects he wanted to work on that he didn't want to wait a month for but i just picked him up an extra pack these ones are two-sided which i think are awesome it has like some muted colors there and then more primary colors on the other side and then these were neon but he's been doing really cool like mosaics and making like stained glass looking stuff almost. I've actually been quite blown away by his artwork. So I just grabbed him a few extra thing of those. Here's his movie theater box of candy and he got the Christmas Sour Patch. Here is his wacky pack and he got the one that looks like Santa. Here is his little poppet and it's the blue Xbox controller. He also got another poppet, like all the kids got one of the Xbox ones and then another one. Um, and he got one that looks like an Instagram logo. I thought that was super cute. Um, I gave him another one for his birthday. It was a two pack. It was an Instagram logo and it was a TikTok logo. So I gave him the TikTok one for his birthday, but his birthday is in July. That's how long I've been saving the other one. Cause I was like, oh no. These things are so expensive. We're going to save them for Christmas. Um, here is his gift card. He got $25. He's older, but he got one to Dunkin' Donuts. And then I just ordered him on Amazon the Dunkin' Donuts, like, coffee pods. I was going to just go into Dunkin' Donuts, but it's so crazy how expensive they are. And then I was going to get him, like, a big box from Sam's or something, but I don't think he'll use that. I will end up just having, like, the pods forever. So I just got like a small box like a 24 and i ordered that from amazon and then i am going to go into dunkin donuts and get him like a cold brew cup and stick the um stick the gift card in the cup and then stick the cup in the stocking and then put the coffee pods on the outside that's the only thing like i'm waiting for that i have to do uh also when in sprouts i saw this lily's sugar-free chocolate but it's in the cookies and cream and we actually love all the lily's chocolate you can't even tell that there's no sugar in it so if i could 
limit my son's sugar intake, then why not? Uh, speaking of zero sugar, these are the Tillamook like smoked sausages. Jake really used to love the Dukes, but he likes the Tillamook better. And this is a spicy jalapeno flavor. So I think he'll really like that. He's been enjoying the, I don't know what I got him, teriyaki beef jerky was the other one I got of those. And he liked that. Uh, I got him two of these Albanese gummies. I know they're like giant, but I really didn't get him any other candy besides that one little, you know, those little sour packs. But he is, last year I warned him. I was like, dude, my mom got him one of these and I was like, you're not bringing these into your room and you're gonna like endlessly eat gummy bears. So this says 23 servings in it and he actually let me take a snack bag and break out 23 servings of this. And I told him, I'm like, I'm gonna come and check and I want to see like you've only are pulling one of these a day and he was so good he stayed and did exactly what he promised which is why I did this for him again if he didn't I wouldn't trust him but he did so I got him the regular flavor one and then this is some kind of ultimate new something with eight new flavors Alfonso mango raspberry Asian pear black currant blood orange crimson cranberry Fuji apple and queen pineapple like all special ones these are just cherry strawberry mango pineapple lemon orange green apple watermelon pink grapefruit lime blueberry no sorry blue raspberry and grape but these are like your bougie flavors I guess uh, so I got those for him and then when we were in Georgia and we were in Walmart there were some things that I am so glad I grabbed the guys were like harassing me like hey you can shop when you go home we're here from Madison but you know that there are things you can find in some stores you can't find anywhere else and these are not in my stores but these are actually keto friendly but I think Jake will really like them it's Taco Bell brand and they're cheddar cheddar crisps they have like a regular cheddar and then this one is taco supreme flavor so like come on how could I not get that for Jake that's right up his alley and I'm so glad that I did because they're not in my store I also bought him friend slippers from there and they're not in my store either so I'm glad that I picked them up when I saw them um, when I got a little birthday package from Nicole Burgess here on YouTube she sends me a bunch of the American dream nut butter and she sent me one of these samples it's confetti cake pop but like I don't know if I would put that on a sandwich this is more of like Nicole puts them on rice cakes and stuff as dessert which sounds really good but I've only been using these to make my kids sandwiches and the confetti cake pop sounded weird um so I just thought I would slip this in Jake's stocking because he is obsessed with that stuff so that seems like very apropos for him and then I don't remember where I got this oh just the Dollar Tree I think it's a little Debbie's and it's a cookies and cream brownie so I think Jake is going to like that. Like I said, a lot of snacks. It's hard for him. He got his gift card and his colored pencils and his little Dorothy pillow or whatever. But he's definitely a little harder. He will get scratch-offs though because he's older. So the little kids only get a $3 one. But he usually gets like 10 or 15 bucks in scratch-offs in his stocking. But, and his gift card was more than the little kids. But um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to lay this out. I'll give you a little bit of overview. And then I think I'm just going to bring you to my bed I have the dog stuff laid out and Paul and Daryl stuff laid out and I even have like two little things that I've picked up for myself so I think I'm gonna lay this out and then I'm gonna pick the camera up and just share with you what I have on the bed all right you guys so here's what I have left to share with you I'm sure it looks like a lot because it's kind of cluttered with my busy bedspread but over here is like what I'm giving the pets I know this is kind of crazy but I love my pets and they deserve stockings too so for King Oliver he has two of these little like treat puzzle things from the Dollar Tree one's like a bone and one looks like a paw print and you hide the treats in there and they have to find them this is like a rechargeable flopping fish. I got it on the Amazon group. It was like three or four dollars and you zip it open and the charger is in there and you charge it up and then it constantly flip flops. I think he's going to get a kick out of that. I got these little Sheba meaty tender sticks in the salmon flavor. I don't even know if he's ever had uh, anything like this. I don't think I ever ever gave him one like this, but 
look, it's like five sticks in there. And it says made with real meat. So I thought that was kind of cool. I picked him up these little cactus because, you know, it's Texas. I thought that was super cute. The cactus and stuff all de decorated with Christmas lights and feathers and Christmas hats. So I think he'll like that. And then this came from the Dollar Tree. Like, I don't really think he's going to care, but I got that to hang over there, like where his cat tree is. I thought I would hang it right over there. So that is Mr. Oliver's. And then here is a Bruno's. So Bruner has the Natural Blue Dog Bakery Sleigh Bell Softies. I got most of the stuff off of Chewy. So I know he's going to like that. And then I got him a new Kong. He has a red one, but Ruby's been chewing it. And Ruby really likes this peanut butter stuff that I got that goes inside. So I figured I would just let Ruby keep the red one. And I would give this one to Bruno. The black one is the extreme, which Bruno needs. And then this is by Kong. And it's call, called Easy Tree. It's I mean, literally like Easy Cheese. So I think that's perfect coming from us and my husband and his Easy Cheese, which is right there uh, and this is peanut butter flavored and you spray it inside of the Kong and then they get to lick it out and so I figured Bruno would like that we already have a can like half full but you know obviously we always can use some extra and then I got him this little taco thing to eat because I know that he will and then I got this. It's actually by Ellen DeGeneres. She came out with a whole pet line. And this was at Big Lots. It was $10. And so I'm going to take two of these out of here just because he chews on them more than Ruby does. So I'm going to take that green guy in the center and then probably this little brown bear and add that to um, his stuff. And then he has a little picture frame that just says woof on it. So I'll put a picture of him in there and hang it over his bowl. But that's what's going to go in his stocking. And then Ruby will get the other one. She'll get like, I don't even know what this is, a chipmunk or raccoon or whatever. She'll get that one and she'll get a little woof frame. And then she got a few extra bones. So this is also by Blue Dog Bakery, but it's Santa Snacks, Crunchy Dog Biscuits, Oatmeal and Cinnamon. And they look like gingerbread men and Christmas trees and stars. And then look at this, it's just like Trader Joe's, like the Jingle Jangle, but this is Jingle Jangle for dogs. And it's little tiny gingerbread men and it's peanut butter flavor. And then I got these for from the Big Lots. Yeah, from Big Lots, I believe. And I'm going to put that in her stocking as well. I mean, all the dogs share treats. It's just to make things look even when we stuff it all together. So that's the pets. This is what I have for hubby, which I said is not a lot. I need a few other little things for him. But once I put a gift card in and some scratch offs and then a piece of ch another piece of chocolate, I mean, he'll be fine. He's an adult, but I always get him a can of easy cheese. This stuff makes me want to barf, but he loves it. And I only buy it for him for holidays. So I got that for his stocking. And then I found this where maybe at Cracker Barrel, the Great American Beer Soap, but I saw this at HEB too. So they sell at other places, but it's warm cedarwood scent. It smells so good, but it's actually made with beer. I don't know. He's a beer drinker. So I thought he would enjoy that. He really loves anything minty. So I got him the Junior Mints Peppermint Crunch. I get them for him every single year. And then I got a bunch of these air fresheners for his car. Originally, he told me to stop buying him the oil ones because they were evaporating while he parked his car in the sun at work. But it's starting to cool down now. And these were all brand new and they smell so good. One of them I was like, eh, over. But the rest, the other two were like really, really good. So I got him these three, the Hot Stone, the Clean cleansing sauna and the fresh mist for him to put in there and then if he uses all of those and then he can switch to these which by the time we hit the warmer months then these won't evaporate but this is like the Dollar Tree one yeah these are green briar but midnight cool is the one that smells like the black candle from Yankee Candle like the men's cologne so I think he'll like that and then this was just a joke I was like looking for something extra and I put into Amazon men's stocking stuffer ideas and so this can came up by the candle daddy and it's called D's nuts so it's supposed to be you know something funny you would give your husband and it's banana nut bread and it's wax melts and we have a little wax burner here in our room so I thought he would like that it was just something like funny and then he loves tomato soup and grilled cheese so when I saw this their grilled cheese and tomato soup and cheese doodles uh, they were at Cracker Barrel also I picked those up for his stocking so with like I said with a gift card and some scratch-offs and maybe another piece of candy then he is set 
I did pick up a few things along the way from the Dollar Tree for myself. I saw this fluffy stuff cinnamon churro cotton candy. I don't even like cotton candy, but I love churros. So I saw that and I was like, oh, I'll just have him throw it in my stocking. I'll try it. If I don't like it, the kids will eat it, I'm sure. When I got Maya the Everything Pretzel Crisp by the Snack Factory, I grabbed myself a bag. And then I said the Wacky Pack came in four, but one of them had a red truck. And my husband said he specifically wanted me to have that one so that I can do it with the kids. And then, you know, he'll go ahead and fill my stocking otherwise he's actually been shopping quite a few times this year already i've been surprised he's been way ahead of the game but i think like we're just more financially secure now so he you know felt like he didn't have to wait for a paycheck so whatever he could just go shopping when he wanted and then this is all that i have for paul which is why i said like my chocolate aholic <laughs> did not have a ton more chocolate for him is like blasphemy but I'm gonna have to, you know, go back and grab something else. But he did say he wanted like a nose trimmer. I tried to get the one from Monty, but that kit sold out so quick. I didn't get my chance to get a hands my hands on it. But this one was only five dollars in the plus section at the Dollar Tree. And so I don't know. We'll see how it works out. But he said he needed one of those. And then he also likes something minty. So I got him the Junior Mints Peppermint Crunch from the Dollar Tree also. And then this was also from the DT. It's just Dove Men Care Lotion, but he He's like a lotion guy my husband's definitely more manly where paul's like more into the lotiony kind of stuff where not daryl not so much so i went ahead and grabbed a, one of those for him i mean even with a gift card and scratch offs his is going to be light i did get him a giant well it wasn't supposed to be giant i ordered him some kind of car wax he wanted for his car i thought it was going to fit in the stocking and then it came in like a gallon sized jug so that's just going to go outside of his stocking but it's considered more of a gift so he needs something a little candy ish or whatever but but um, yeah, otherwise his is a little light. But once I grab another thing or two for him from the Dollar Tree or whatever, and then a gift card and some scratch offs, he will even out. But all right, you guys, that was it for what I'm putting in my entire family's stocking as a family of six. All right, you guys, so that's it for another Vlogmas video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I know that this was earlier than I had in planned, so hopefully I'm able to give you guys some ideas. If you have some ideas that maybe I missed out on, I mean, I don't really think I could fit anything else in their stockings, but if you have some ideas, let me know in the comments below, because I still do have three weeks until Christmas, so I always can go and grab something if need be but I'm pretty sure I got everybody stocked I need to work on the guys as you saw just a little bit they need a few other little things but otherwise you guys I am set for Christmas so let me know where you guys are at Christmas shopping wise down below I love you guys so much subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in another vlogmas video tomorrow bye guys